Hello. Hello, family. Hello, YouTube. Hello, Facebook. How y'all doing? Chef Lori is here. Time for some Calabama cooking. So excited to be with you guys tonight. Y'all know how I love this cooking we do together. I'm getting all the good stuff set up, y'all, so we can chat while we cook. Come on in. Come on in. Let me see. Get home there. See, I'm trying to get all of my chats and whatnot up. There we go. So I can be with y'all. All right, family. What's going on, y'all? What's good? How you doing? How you mama now? Huh? How, they, how everybody doing? Okay, y'all, I'm trying this again. We're doing YouTube and Facebook Live at the same time because YouTube Live, with, well, let me back. Facebook, y'all know that's not like been, that's not day one, right? But we've also started now going live on YouTube as well at the same time. And YouTube, y'all, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm having a good time with this. This is everything to me. So, all right, come in the room. We are going to make some more bad food tonight. It's going to taste delicious. Um, see, Perry over on YouTube says, we love your Mac. Thank you, Perry. My family, we love my Mac too. <laughs> my kids are crazy about it. I'm so glad to see you guys. I have my nieces and nephews. They say, hey, auntie. Hey, babies. How my babies? I thought you babies. <laughs> Do it. Look, before we get too far gone, now y'all can give me some likes and shares on this. All right, Facebook, you know, just hit that share button. It's free. YouTube, come on, give me some thumbs up. I need thumbs up. YouTube, Facebook, I need thumbs. Y'all know, do y'all know that these things is all run by algorithm, which is a little man that lives in the computer and he runs around. He's the same dude that steals a pair of socks in the dryer. Same man. His name is Al G O Rhythm. Al G O Rhythm. Algorithm. I'm telling you, okay? That dude is real. He, he steals socks and dryers and he messes this stuff up so you can't really get seen. So the only way you can get seen is if I get thumbs up and shares. So help us sister out. Thumbs up and shares. And we're going to get into this goodness tonight. So y'all, I'm beyond excited because we, you know, last week we made them fried wings. Because remember we were dealing with all of the drama and the ups and downs that we had just experienced as a whole. Check my oil. We had this experience as a whole last week. I'm not going to talk about what it was. Y'all know, right? We were all there. Okay. And so I fried the wings because I was like, sister just needs some fried food. That's just how you have to sometimes, you know, get past it. And, you know, this week continued and more stuff happened. And in my heart, I thought, you know, we're going to start eating better. Thank you for the stars, Facebook. I'm not mind. I'm like, we're going to start eating better. You know what I'm saying? We are. We're going to do this. We're going to start eating better because I want to inspire you to be the best you, right? I want to inspire you to do what you do, be you authentic, 100%. Be comfortable and confident in your own skin. And can I tell you, my skin was still going through some drama this week, drama and trauma. So I decided that we're going to continue in the same uh, form we were in. And if you're having a dry January or a healthy January, you know what? Life has decided that that's canceled. And I'm giving you permission to eat whatever the ham sandwich you want to eat. And I'm going to start it off this week with a deep fried grilled cheese sandwich. And you're like, really, Lori? Deep fried grilled cheese? Oh, yes. Oh, 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 oh yes. Yeah. <laughs> because you know what? Let me tell y'all something. I'm starting melting this butter here for this cheese sandwich. But I'm going to tell y'all. <laughs> I'm not, okay, I'm I'm, I got to be real. I'm talking. About all the eating I'm doing, but y'all, you know I'm working out now, right? Have y'all seen? I put a few posts up there recently about me working out. Have y'all seen those posts? Have y'all seen that? So today, Thursday is one of my workout days. Me and Maddie have a trainer, and um, I'm gonna tell y'all right now, this chick, oh my god, she be trying to kill us, right? But um, I love it, and it's so cool. I'm not trying to get skinny and lose weight, so don't y'all worry. These hits ain't going nowhere. Okay, I just want to be able to walk up and down the steps without running out of breath. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's that's as simple as that. But since I'm doing that today, we boxed, right? We did boxing today, and let me tell y'all something: boxing is a whole body workout. That thing, oh my god, we finished. Me and Maddie are like, <gasps> and she said, "The trip." I was talking to her today. She's like, "What are you doing tonight?" You know, I had live. I said, "Deep fried grilled cheese," and she just looked at me, and I said, "I'm not trying to lose weight." <laughs> But the way I see it, y'all, we collectively have been through a lot, and this is just what we need. And that's all there is to it. 
All right. Now, we're going to get there. First, we're going to make a grilled cheese, and then we're going to deep fry it. So, oh, thank you, Fat 40 said I look good already. Thank you, y'all, you know. But, you know, I ain't a skinny chick. That's why I mean about being comfortable in your skin. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't want to be, I, I love, it. and it's not fat shaming, because however you look and however you are, you look good, girl, and I want you to be comfortable. That's how I am, and that's all I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Be healthy. Take care of you. Eat a grilled cheese sandwich. Deep fry it. Let's start with some bread here. Now, what I did, <laughs> I love grilled cheese sandwiches, and I'm using, um, you always want to use a firm bread when you're making grilled cheese, okay? So I'm using a country white bread by Arnold. And I want you to see this. This is really firm bread. You really should not be making grilled cheese sandwiches on sandwich bread, okay? Because the sandwich bread, I'm just being honest with you, is too thin. It really can't hold up to the pressure um, of what you need to do. So you really should make your grilled cheese sandwiches on thicker bread. Now, if all you have is regular bread, what you do is you let it sit out and get a little stale. Okay, you know, it, it doesn't take a long time for that to happen. You just put it out, let it sit there for a little bit, and you know, the air will do the thing it needs, and then it'll be a little more firm. But if you can, just buy one of these thicker breads. Do I have the package? I don't have the package. I'll have to show you guys later. But you want to use uh, real good thick bread. Sourdough is good. Any of those kind of things are good, okay? Now, I happen to love this Arnold's Country White because it just, ooh, it's good, and it's nice and firm. So first things first, we're going to make the grilled cheese sandwich. So I have here in my skill, I'll burn myself a little bit, but be careful. I don't want to have no mishaps and have y'all talk about me. I don't want this video to go viral for the wrong reasons. <laughs> All right. I've got the sandwich cooking, and here I've got my oil heating up that we're going to use to deep fry it. I'm frying in canola oil tonight. A lot of times I use peanut oil, which is actually what I use most of the time. But tonight I was like, you know what, I want to try canola oil. Because I need, mean, y'all, okay. Peanut oil is not cheap. Do y'all hear me? You get that thing at the store, it can be like $14, $15. Canola oil is cheaper. So when I'm doing chicken, like last week we did fried chicken, I use, oh, the comments here. Last week we used peanut oil, and I think peanut oil is best for chicken, especially. It is. But if you don't have uh, peanut oil, get canola. They're both good. But this week I was like, I'm going to do um, canola, because, I mean, let's just be real here. It's, it's worse, but it's not cheap. You know what I mean? We in a pandemic. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, you know, be reasonable. So I just switch it up. I use canola sometimes and peanut. If I'm doing like a big fish fry or frying chicken or something like that, really big and cool, the truth is I would, I do go for peanut oil then because I'm doing a lot. But when I'm doing just some quick frying like this, I just sometimes use canola oil because it just, it works. Okay. It's a little messier, but what's what I say? She said, you have to find it. Yeah, and finding peanut oil can be very difficult. My grocery stores carry them, so it's not too difficult for me to find it, but I've been other places where it is very hard to find. So, sis, get you some. Somebody said peanut oil will break you. Yes, Lord. All right, so we're going to make this grilled cheese sandwich. I'm going to tell you a couple things. First, I'm going to talk to you about grilled cheese sandwiches. When you're cooking grilled cheese sandwiches, people think this is the easiest thing to make, like, oh, grilled cheese sandwich. People mess up grilled cheese sandwiches because they don't know what they're doing. First thing, thick bread. Y'all got that? Step number one. Step number one, thick bread. Okay. Next thing is don't try to go fast. Don't try to turn the heat up real quick. Don't do that. Take your time. You see what I'm saying? Take your time and let it cook. Let it cook slowly. Now, my butter is room temperature. Okay. If your butter is room temperature, you can spread it all over your bread and you're in good, good shape. If your butter is not... It's not room temperature. What you're going to do then? Hey, Miss Diana, I miss you too. <laughs> if your butter is not room temperature, just melt it in the pan and put the sandwich in the pan. So, let me see. We're going to peek at the bottom here. See that? See? I didn't cook it long. I'm going to let it get a little browner, but I want you guys to see what I'm talking about cooking it slow. You see this, YouTube? See that? I'm taking my time with it. You got to. You have to really let a grilled cheese sandwich know that you love it and that you want to be with it. OK, because if you try to rush it and hurry it, it just. Has that ever worked for you? Ask yourself that. Has it worked for me when someone has tried to rush me? All while talking about how they couldn't wait to be with me, how I was their favorite, blah, blah, blah. And then next thing you know, they're just like, ah, you don't feel good. You know what I'm saying? It's like when we go out for date night, even though we're married, I want him to take his time. I'm going to put on something. I want to sit in the car. Well, I mean, I did before Corona, but y'all get the point. 
Same thing with the sandwich. Love on it. See that? And you see how this cheese is melted? Now, another tip. My cheese is room temperature as well. I left my cheese slices out. If you can't or you don't have time to, all you have to do is get the top to your skillet and put it on there. Keep your heat down, and that will definitely help your cheese melt. Little things like that. Okay? See there? Boom. Look at that. Thank you all for the stars over on Facebook. Appreciate it. So here we go. I'm going to let this cook a little bit more. Get a little more brown, and when it finishes getting brown, uh, we're going to get ready to fry it. Now, I've already started heating my oil. Okay, I want it to get to about 350 degrees. Don't want it to get too, too hot because if it's too hot, y'all know what will happen. All it will do is burn quickly. It's also important to know that when we're doing this whole grilled cheese frying situation, okay, you ha can't have the oil too hot because you need the batter to cook. It needs time. So let's get started on that batter while we're doing that. Mm -hmm. Don't ask <laughs> All right, this morning is a three-step process. We're going to do flour. Let me move the mouse from the computer. YouTube's on the computer. Phone has uh, Facebook going. All right, let's see here. Erica says you've been making grilled cheese all wrong. Yes, girl. See, this, see how pretty this is coming out? See that? And I'm taking my time cooking this real slow. Now, if what you say is, oh, I want every one of these edges to be even more brown, put a little more butter on them, and it will be fine. But I'm just telling you, this will be, trust me, it's going to be like molten lava when we finish with this thing. Okay, now I'm going to get ready to turn this heat off. Oh, yeah, that's, let me just let it sit here for a little bit. I'm going to make the liquid portion of the batter. All right, so I've got a bowl here. What I'm going to do is put some flour in here. All right, I told y'all before I use self-rising flour when I'm frying. It's, there's no real re reason for it. It's just something that happens. <laughs> okay. All right, so I'm just putting about a cup of flour in there. And I say about because we don't want this batter to be too lumpy. Okay, I'm going to add to that. I've got some buttermilk here that I put together. Y'all know we talked about this last week, right? You can use regular milk buttermilk, whatever. I've even seen some people that can do, you can do this beer batter if you want to as well. Okay, this is good. I'm going to set this aside and move this back here. No, I'm not messing up my counters. I have something to put them on so they don't get messed up. Thank you for asking. My husband was like, you better not be messing up. <laughs> you girl. All right, we're going to season this flour. So here I've got, I'm not doing a lot, but you want it to have some flavor. Got some paprika. Gives it a nice smoky flavor. Paprika does not do a whole lot. Anybody that tells you it does is telling you a story, okay? But I also don't think that paprika does nothing. It just doesn't do a lot. If you want the paprika to do something, then buy smoked paprika or like a Hungarian paprika, okay, like the hot ones. Then it'll do something. But regular old paprika, it's more color than anything. A lot of even on potato salad, color, exactly. All right, and then I'm going to put a good a pinch of a good pinch of garlic salt, a garlic powder in here. All right, and where did I put my salt, baby? Oh, here it is. Let's try and remember where I put my salt. I'm gonna put a good amount of salt in here as well because you want this to have some flavor to it, okay? All right, now I'm gonna just take my friendly fork or whisk, I'm using a fork tonight, whisk this together. You see that, you two? Okay, y'all with me? Now we're gonna start pouring this liquid in. You're gonna pour it in Sorry, I poured. There we go. <laughs> I poured too hot. As you pour it in, I've got two cups that I'm starting with. I you to see this. I don't know if you can see YouTube. I might need to get a different color bowl next time so you guys can see the contrast. I'm not letting this get too thick. You see what I'm saying? We're not letting it stay too thick. I'm stirring it and then I'm going to add more liquid to it. Okay? See, because I want it to be a somewhat thin, thinned out batter. But I don't want it to be as thin as, say, pancake batter. You get the difference? Okay. So here we go. See, I put more in there. You see, it's got a little bit of color from that paprika. That's what I wanted. All right. That looks good. Now, what you can also do, use the rest of that liquid. And if you still need more liquid to still thin it out more, just get some regular milk and put in there. Or like I said, you can do a beer batter. I've seen flour and just beer put in there. And that works too. Let's see here. Let's get this oil back going. She's cooled off a little bit, but that's okay. Gonna let her start back up. And we're gonna go through, 
I'm being careful though not to touch this particular burner <laughs> because that would be bad. <laughs> that one is hot. Okay. So we're going to do a three-step phase here. Now, this is some of the liquid batter that I had already mixed up. I'm just going to add this to it. Okay. This is the liquid one because I, y'all know I've been trying to be ready for y'all because I love y'all. I want to see, see y'all have happy cooking days. You know what I mean? Okay, and we're going to use two different things of flour. Now, one of the flour, the first flour we're going to use, we're going to take the sandwich and put it in the flour. Then we're going to put it in the liquid. Then we're going to put it back in the flour. And we're going to put it back in flour because you can fry it with just the liquid batter on it. But when you fry it with just a liquid batter, sometimes it gets goopy. And sometimes it doesn't always stay together like you want it. It can run. It can also work. I didn't say it wouldn't work, but I'm just saying it can run a little bit. And it's not always, oops. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. There we go. <laughs> Did y'all see that I had the sandwich up here cooling off, waiting for me? And it was so good, it started just oozing. The bread was oozing. <laughs> I took my time with it. I told y'all. I took my time with it, <laughs> but I had to slow down so it didn't mess up. But I'm gonna show you how to do it. Okay, so flour. Here we go. And these flours, I'm also gonna add some salt because we want flavor. Okay, a little bit of salt in that one, and some salt in this one. Okay. All right. All I got is two bowls of flour in it. And again, I'm gonna give these just a little bit of a mix. Look. See this, YouTube. Facebook, I know you can see it. We're a little more mobile with that one. I'm figuring this out, y'all. I'm figuring out how to be double live streaming, okay? Now, you can use the same flour back and forth. Um, it probably would be fine, but I just found it's a little bit easier when I do it with two, okay? All right, so let's see if our oil is ready. Remember how we test our oil? We just take a little bit of, a little piece of this flour. Okay, not quite. We want it to sizzle when it gets in there, okay? So let's let this oil get a little bit warmer. Turn up just a, just a smidge. And what we're going to do... Here's the sandwich. Y'all, this look good all by itself, don't it? I mean, you know, we can just decide to forego the frying portion of the program and just eat the sandwich. <laughs> I don't, I know that we would be, we're gonna finish this dish, come on. All right, we're gonna put it first in the flour. Okay, let me check my oil again. It's getting there. It's important that your oil be hot and ready for your things when you're going to do some frying because if not, it's going to get soggy. It's not going to taste right. And it's not going to be my fault. I will not, I will not take responsibility. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Okay. Focus. focus. Remember, y'all supposed to tell me to focus. All right. Got this oil heating up here. Oh, it's starting to jump. All right. Now, I might use a glove for part of this because I don't want to get my hands too messed up. I just got my nails done this week. And since I had the gloves, I took my rings and everything off. And we we're, we we're boxing today, right? So when I box, I have to put, she wraps our hands, then we put on our big boxing gloves. And we're doing one, two, boy, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> It is so much fun, though. Oh, my God. If you've never tried boxing, you have to. It is so. Oh, wait. Let me take these pretty bracelets off. It's pretty. I'm going to mess that up. Okay. I think our oil's about ready. Yes. Now, I'm going to check it one more time. That looks better. Yeah, I heard a sizzle. So, we're going to take our sandwich here. See this? We're going to put the sandwich in flour. I know you're thinking, oh, my God. Are we messing up the sandwich? No, we're going to fry it, baby. It's okay. See that? Get all these edges. See that? Y'all see? Boom. Make sure you share this video and give me thumbs up. We've already talked about Brother Al Geo Rhythm. Al Go Rhythm. He be after us. All right. Now here is our liquid. Y'all see it? Everybody see liquid? I'm going to put it in the liquid on this side. Let me see. I might use this. And we're going to turn it over. Now, this part... So where, I'm gonna be honest with you, this is messy. You should probably take your fork or your hand and just make sure that you dab your batter all over, okay? And get it in those edges just like that. See that? Okay, and I'm gonna turn it again just to make sure the other side is clear as well. Whoop. Or covered, I should say. 
See that? This is important. And I'm going to put this back in the flour. Now I have a second bowl of flour because as I put it back in the flour, you know, some of the liquid could come off and I don't want to necessarily mess up. Woo! There we go. So in the second one, I'm just going to top it again and pat a little more flour on here. See how I'm doing that? Going around it. We're battering it up. This will help it not stick or have this liquid dripping. All right. See that? I'm being quick, so I might be a little messy. Sorry. All right. Now we're going to pick it up. Shake off excess flour. We don't need a whole bunch extra. Here we go. And in to the oil. Now, once we got her in there, let me take this glove off. What I want you to see is she's going to float because fried food does what when it's done? It floats. So it's important that you take something, I'm using a fry basket, and push her down. Help her get in there. Okay? Help her get in there. But don't be rough with her. Don't be like, girl, you got to get down there. We talked about that. Remember, we talked about that. Taking your time with it, letting it know you love it, right? So just, you see how we're getting that nice little coating right there? Just push her down a little bit, hold it some. She's going to be nice to you. What did you say? Baby cat? Oh, Shane said baptize it. I baptize you sandwich with two M's, an I and a C-H. In the name of peanut oil, canola oil, and vegetable oil. And you saw how I flipped that over. <laughs> Ooh, this looks good. <laughs> I cannot wait. And the cool part, see, once you've got the outside of the sandwich cooked right, even if your cheese didn't melt completely all the way, it's going to finish in this because this is straight deep frying. Now, you notice how I don't have this going crazy with the frying because the batter, it still needs to cook. We need a liquid batter. You know what I'm saying? Oh, what, what temperature for the oil? Uh, you want your oil to be around 350, okay? And watch it, though. I cook on electric, which means my oil just keeps getting hotter and hotter. Yeah, I'm going to give this stuff down a little bit longer. And once you get that, there you go. So you get that float on there. Oh, my God. I made these, you guys, for the kids. They were straight crazy besides themselves. I know this is like seems like too much, doesn't it? It seems like overboard to fry a grilled cheese sandwich. That is it too much? I mean, was it too much? What do y'all think? Is it overboard to fry a grilled cheese sandwich? Shane's chicken, no. <laughs> no. I, you know, it might be, but I'm telling y'all, after the January we've had, we have seen things this January in our lifetime that we never thought we would see. Amen, likes. And as a result, I'm not, I'm sorry, but I, I've got to do what I've got to do to survive. Now, when you take it off, I'm going to get a couple pieces of paper towel here. See how it's got a nice, pretty golden brown color on it? Sandwich got that melanin popping. Y'all see that? Look. Go ahead, admire. Go ahead. I'm, gonna, I'm waiting. I'm going to give y'all a minute. Go ahead. Go ahead. I know. I know. I know. I'm thinking the same thing. Yes. Uh-huh. I hear. I see y'all. Now we're going to put it over here. And I held it up for that second, first of all, so y'all could see and admire. Secondly, I held it up because I wanted to make sure the oil all drip through. This is what's called a guilty pleasure. Okay? This is a guilty pleasure. And so I'm going to tell y'all, if you just came on, I'm going to repeat something I said. If you've been here, just understand this is what happens when we come together. We sometimes have to say things for the latecomers, and that's okay. You are with family. You're here now, boo, and we love you. Too much has gone on. And these here 14 days of January, entirely too much. Okay? So last week we fried some chicken. Today we frying grilled cheese. If you, whatever you were going to do healthy, you have my permission to modify your plans. But I also told you I'm working out. I was boxing. I feel so strong when I box. I love it. You know what I mean? We're like, oh, it's so cool. I know my form is terrible. But I'm not trying to get in the ring. But I will tell you this. What in the ham sandwich possessed Mike Tyson and Roy Jones Jr. to put their old butts back in that ring? We do little one-minute rounds of just conditioning, and I'm exhausted. And both of them, both of them, B-O-F-F-U-M, is older than me. Nah. Nah. Think about that next time you meet. Anyway. Nah. All right. Look here. 
Now you see our sandwich? Look. See how crispy and beautiful it is? <laughs> Some stuff, you, it's like deep fried mac and cheese. Mac and cheese balls. I do that too. Everything is better when you put some oil with it. This, this is not oil. This is when you put oil with it. Now, I'm going to cut this molten lava sandwich open. And I want to taste it. But what? What did you tell me, Shane? Hold on. He's that what? Got you craving jam vino. Okay, sis. Jam vino is my wine infused jam. And that is amazing. My husband, when I was talking, he goes, it's kind of like a Monte Cristo. It kind of is, but Monte Cristo got meat on it. And the only meat I would want in this is bacon. But yes, some jam vino or any kind of jam would be good. Some pesto. Yes. All right, here we go. We're going to cut it open. Listen. Look at that. Oh, my God. Dear Jesus. Sweet baby Jesus. Trying to make sure I got it, y'all. And it's hot. Woo! I can barely touch it. Hold on. I got to pick up the plate. This joker is hot, 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 hot. You see it? Oh, my Lord. Uh-huh. Oh. Now we season that outside. Oh, my God. This is good. I used plain Colby Jack cheese tonight, y'all. I'm going to cut me a little corner. Y'all, I'm befuddled. Ooh. Oh, my God. That crust is flavored. Cause I put, yeah, remember, I put the garlic powder in there. And I put the paprika in there because it's pretty. Remember, don't do a whole lot. I'm not going to say don't do nothing, but it don't do a whole lot. Oh. 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 I'm going to burn my tongue. I did that. What? You scared? You worried about me? She ain't worried about me. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Like that, baby? <laughs> oh. He want me to take it off. I don't want to. You know why? That's the trees talking. That comes from... Please slow down, baby. That's what happens when you take your time with it. Oh my God, that's so good. Look, I put some crazy things. See that? You see that? See that? Yeah. Yeah. And the inside. Man, hold on. Okay. In case somebody comes on and thinks we are uncouth. We wash it down. We wash it down. We wash it down. Okay. Ah. Woo. All right, y'all. Ain't no lot else for me to say. Now, I can talk all night, but the truth is there ain't much else to say. I am so happy y'all joined me tonight. Thank you for being with me. This was fun, and it was even more delicious. I'm finna tear this up. I'm gonna try to eat it before the kids come up here, because they in the basement. I love y'all so much. Thank you for being with me. Make sure you share this video, okay? And, and share the video, hit the thumbs up. I need thumbs up, especially on YouTube. I gotta have thumbs up. Algo, algae, a rhythm. Algorithm, the little man that lives in there and determines whether or not you get seen, okay? He's real. Algae, a rhythm. Algorithm. All right, I'll see you guys next week, same time, same place for more Calabama cooking. I'll be right here in the Love Lab waiting on you. Have a wonderful week, fam. Love you. Happy cooking.